Here we go. Hey everybody, what's up? This is RDH Davis, and I'm back with another episode and gameplay and live stream of Heavy Rain. This is my first playthrough. So let's go ahead and continue where we left off. I hope everyone's doing well today, and I hope you enjoy this episode of my gameplay of it. Um, last episode, towards the very end, <laughs> we did something very terrible, but we went back in time because I didn't like the results. I didn't like where it was going because we left, we escaped this car. We've already done this part. We escaped the car, but we left Lauren in the vehicle to drown. And I thought that was so terrible. That was awful. So we're going to try this part again and let's see if we can save her this time. We're going to do the right thing. <laughs> I really hope we can. Okay, here we go. Lauren. Oh, Lauren, good. Wake up. Lauren. All right, sweetheart, come on. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. There you go. That is a better solution. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is a better solution. Why am I laughing? Stop it. it yeah. That is a better solution. Lauren, please tell me you're alive, sweetie. I don't think he could ever forgive himself if you really are dead. <coughs> Me who let her die because I didn't know that part. <laughs> I was going to take up swimming again. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. Oh. You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah, sure. What are you going to do? I'm going to go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. Oh boy. Lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me. Okay? Yeah, Lauren. Be careful, Scott. I don't want to lose you. Aww. Lauren, kiss me right here. Let's make love on this mud. Let's share our affect aff aff affection and love to one another right here on this mud in the rain. What better place, darling? We saved each other's lives. Well, I saved your life. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here I come, you son of a... Oh, shit! Now that's what I call a, a fun pool table. I am pissed off. I don't care what I do. I'm pissed off. This man tried to get me killed. Ow, I hurt my face. <gasps> Is it just me or am I turned on? I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, it's hot in here. Oh, guys. <laughs> Somebody passed me a cigarette. Open this damn door. Ooh. I don't give a damn anymore. Y'all try to kill me. Y'all try to kill me. Damn this guy! Any more stormtroopers? What does this what does this remind me of? This is a scene from a movie. Get 
behind the damn door. Okay, hold on. Let's talk about this badass scene. Wanted. Yes, maybe it is from Wanted. Or from uh, uh, Django. Is that the name of that movie? I felt like, wasn't there a scene like that as well? This scene needed like a badass, like, music in the background. Like, I don't know, some techno or some, uh, what do you call it? I can't think of it. But it needed a different soundtrack, in my opinion. This was a badass scene. This, He does not give a shit anymore. He's like, you know what? I'm pissed off. I've been on this case for a long time now. I've been getting into a lot of fights. I'm, I'm, I'm not holding back anymore. It's time to kill some people. I'm mad. John Wick? Maybe John Wick as well. Lilo and Stitch? <laughs> no, no, no. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. When Belle's like, where's Beast? <clears throat> and she's going to rescue him from Gaston. And she's attacking the villagers who are attacking the castle. And she's there with her crossbow like... Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Imagine. Stay back! Don't come near me! Or Don't I'll even shoot. think about it, please. <clears throat> Don't piss me Fuck off even more. Please. Your idiot son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No, no, he's innocent. He's not a killer. Not a killer. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No, no, please, don't hurt me. Last chance. I don't know, I swear, I don't know anything. <sighs> stop, stop, I beg you. You're not a killer, Bully. You're not a tell killer. Fine, fine, fine. You better start explaining right uh, now. Gordy, Gordy always wanted his fun, you know. He, he wanted to to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident, an unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. So your kid he needs was special crying. help. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did, Gordy, Gordy is my son. Uh, oh my God. So obviously his son needs special help. Because he's just a copycat. He's just a copycat. Because after we met him, he was very much into that cartoon stuff. I mean, he, he would throw parties in there. I don't know. He's a, he's a, a special case he definitely needs special help and this man is not giving it to him he's just spoiling him it's like yeah you love your you love your child but he obviously needs help big big help because if if he continues with this shit your son is going to jail and no amount of money or bodyguards or whatever is going to protect him from the world you either help him now or he's going to suffer the consequences and you are going to be blaming yourself when you could have been thinking oh i could have done something you i could have done something a long time ago to get to give the special special help that my son truly deserves that sucks i feel no, bad no, for no, his listen. son what what that boy gordy killed no one will miss him are you serious street trash like so many others oh. you disgusting pile of shit knock him out And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother... His mother should know. Oh, shoot. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard.
need my pills. In that drawer. There. God damn it, dude. God damn it. You're lucky that I'm a... Here. Thank you. You... You... You saved my life. You owe me. I already regret it. <laughs> Oh, look at all those dead bodies. You go, buddy. I love his character so much. I love him. And I, I don't want to kill him. I'm like, no, I don't think his character is that type of character. <laughs> the way he looked when he said, oh, my heart. <laughs> his, his, I don't know. His reaction was, I'm, I'm so bad. <laughs> it looked funny. That was cool, though. I loved that whole part. Damn, and I was a pro. Did you see how I was shooting every single one of them? Damn. Maybe I should become a detective, guys. What do you think? Huh? Huh? I think I have what it takes. I'll be like, let me talk to you. <laughs> I slip on. I, I, I try to kick the door open, and I hurt my leg. And then I'm forced to retire. As soon as you said techno music, my brain went, oh yeah, the red circle. Oh, that's Ada Wong. Oh, we're at the ward. The emergency reception. Okay. John Shepard died 30 years ago. Hope his mother has all the answers to this puzzle. Only a few hours left before Sean Mars dies. Oh, God. Hope I'm not wasting my time. Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. <laughs> Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. I would have put oh, a fake name. she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With oh. Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, ma'am. Room 19. Where is that? She said it at the end of the corner. Room 19. Where is that? Hey, excuse me, nurse. I'm walking here. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? <laughs> no, yes. Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Guys, I'm getting a little emotional. <laughs> she reminds me of my grandma. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Hmm. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. What? Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. 
John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm Aww. fond of television. Hmm. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. Hmm. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In 10 years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? No, no, they don't. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? My <laughs> pills. Ah, oh, nothing. That stinks. We didn't get any information. Poor lady. We didn't get anything. <gasps> Did you make Look. these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son, my little Johnny. It take days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Oh, hey, get back to that. No. Yeah, make an origami. Make an origami. Here you go, ma'am. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. Oh. <laughs> hmm, okay. Let me see. No, 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 no. Ugh. Damn, I feel like we messed up. A hummingbird. Interrogate her. What about this? I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. Huh. The dog, the frog. Let's do the frog. <clears throat> do you like the frogs? I love origami. <laughs> That's not my favorite one. What is your favorite, lady? Okay. I love 
love origami, but that's not my favorite one. I like a Charizard. Okay. Oh, you what? know how to do these little dogs, too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. <laughs> but he always wanted his paper dogs Max. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Damn. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Not much I could do here now, guys, sadly. Maybe I should have looked around first. Let me see. <gasps> Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. This is getting us nowhere. I feel like I messed up. Oh well. It's a tricky. I think I should have examined the area first. I. Oh, 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 oh. And then ask her questions. I'm pretty sure she just sits down. That's all we could do. Her memory is coming back. Don't stop now. Just, just remember. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. This woman might be the origami killer's mother. Must be some way to get her to remember. I don't know, that's all we could do. I think we might have messed up. There's not much we can do. Oh, well. Part of me wants to restart, but I don't think I want flowers. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. How about we just turn this off? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe, will that get you to talk? Should, can we can we get those flowers that were there? Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Hmm. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years and you're the first. Oh, wow. Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I, I think he drowned. Does she ever talk about her other son? I didn't know she had another one. I've never heard her mention it. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. Darn, maybe we should have talked to her. Can we get this? Oh, why did you go that way towards the wall? 
Those are orchids, right? She said she loved flowers. But what kind? Show her things that take her back. I love flowers, but those aren't my favorites. <laughs> what a lovely orchid. Yeah! My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, oh. and now they were taking away another one, you understand? I know. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Oh. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. <laughs> what? Closer, child. Closer. A little closer, child. Closer! <laughs> <laughs> there is another sky. What? <laughs> I wonder what was the name. I wonder what she said. I wonder what was the name. Come closer, child. Just a little bit closer. Come on. <laughs> uh, I imagine she burps. Ah! Oh my god. The last origami figure. The last trial. 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 What the heck? Kind of reminds me of Castle Oblivion from Kingdom Hearts. So how many more trials? This is the, the last trial, like you said. But I thought the fourth one was the last one where we had to kill the man. Pieces. Uh, two pictures of the chandelier. Those three are the same. Oh. Hi. Oh. What are you doing? Ooh, check out my butt. Come closer, chat. Just a little bit closer. The last 
trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. But I want to spend time with my son. Am I going to be timed? There's got to be another way. I can't kill myself to save my son. Poison. So, if I drink this, I'll be dead in an hour. And if I don't, I won't get the last letters. Exactly. That, that doesn't make sense. Save Sean. And die. Christ. He loses his father, but at least he's alive. Maybe it's the right thing to do. I thought that too. One hour to live. Just enough time to save Sean. The cameras. He must be watching me. He could be lying. Maybe I'll die as soon as I drink this, and then no one can save Sean. Am I willing to die to save my son? Nothing to lose. I've come too far to stop now. Kill myself to save Sean? That's ridiculous! I'll find some other way. I'm sure I can save him. Hmm. This is messed up. If I die, he'll have his mother. But then this will be a tragic tale of Ethan's story. A very poor tragic tale. Why does he look at the door? There's no choice. I've got to do it. If I want to save my son. Hmm. I don't like it. There, why don't you pretend to drink it? There's got to be another way. I mean, yeah, he's watching. But why don't you just pretend that you're drinking it? Is there another way we can do this? Is there another way? I'm sorry, I'm thinking like... Hmm, these cameras... Maybe we might get the cure? What would you guys do? Like, no spoilers or anything, but in reality, what would you guys do? If your child was stuck in this situation? If you were in this situation? Would you drink the poison to save your child, but then knowing that you only have a short amount of time? That would be so sad, so tragic. What a messed up killer. There's not much I could do. I mean, I can refuse, but then I won't get the peace. However, however, what's her face? She was given the name of the killer. Hmm. 
maybe things will i don't know man this is a very difficult situation ethan could lose his only child ethan could lose his only child he's a very he's a young child I think he needs to be given a chance to live. I'm sorry. Like, Davis, why do you have to think so much about it? Like, don't think deep about it. It's like, yeah, but games like this with a very good story, I can't help but to get very much into it, you know? And of course it's going to make me think about this. If it, if a game makes me think about these kind of things, then it's doing a good job of doing so, you know? It's the same thing with movies or TV shows. <clears throat> I would think he, the little, his son deserves a chance to live a life, a long life. Cutting it too short like this will be not fair for him. I think any parent would do the same. A parent will always sacrifice themselves. They, they would always put their child first. A parent is a parent. <clears throat> a parent is a parent. We would do anything for our children. Uh, I think that you're thinking about thinking on this. Wait, I think you're thinking thinking on. Wait, maybe you meant you meant to put. I think you're thinking a lot. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, retype it again, SK. I think you meant to put. You're thinking a lot about this. Stay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. For my son. It's a joke. <laughs> Ethan, you only have a short amount of time left now. The last letters have been sent to your phone. You know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what? You know what? Davis, you should have thought about that. You should have thought about that. We don't even have enough letters. The last letters, 961. We failed two trials. Cheater. <laughs> we failed two trials. I'm a cheater. I'm a cheater. The last origami figure. The last trial. The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your son? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. Hmm. What was that watch next to it anyways, too? 
You know what? Let me see. It's because we don't have enough letters. So it's like, what's the point? You know what? Oh, I don't know. This is so difficult to choose. You're a dead man anyways if the cops get you. That's if they get me. That's if they get me. You know what, Davis? Stick with what you did. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Screw it. Screw it all. And then if we, we, we if we could do it again, we'll get a, an ending. Screw it all. Yellow. <laughs> we could always do it again. We could always play this game again. I'm pretty sure there's a good ending. I'm pretty sure there's a good ending. Last letters have been sent to your phone. Roosevelt? Something like that? I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be a cure. Who knows? Wait, what is that I watch? I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. You have no idea, SK? I'm nowhere and I'm out of time. Damn fucking shitty letters from this fucking fucking address! Come on! I... There's gotta be a way to do this! Well, neither do I, buddy. So we're going with what we can. We're doing what we can. It's my first playthrough, so... Let's see what we can do. Let's see what, well, how, we, how it turns out to the end. Several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. What's he doing? What's he what's he doing putting it in his ear? Oh. I can't read what it says. Uh. I may only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. It's a crapshoot. Huh. I don't know. If only I could take a look at the, the note again, I should have paid attention. Why don't you get the piece of paper? I need to see that piece of paper. I need to get a closer look at it. Hmm. I would say it would be somewhere by the water. Road. I don't know. I'm going to go to the water. And so screw it. If we only have one time... One 
one trip to take, so be it. Oh well. The phone is making... <gasps> oh! SK! Even I was like, where the hell is that boat sound coming from? But okay, I thought it was like outside. Oh! Well, to me, I thought, well, he would be close to the water. More hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! Anyways, I feel like we're getting close to the end of the chapter, so... All packed up and ready to go? I think we could always... About? The investigation's over. We know who did it. Who no did it, then? need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. You see, the investigation he's... isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. Mm-hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Blake, why don't you come over here for a second? Come here. I want to introduce my foot up your... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, why did you take it? Oh my gosh, he, he took it. Don't tell me he's going to die too. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Why don't you go talk to what's her face? Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. Got it. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Got it. Okay, so... Let's see. Uh, let's go to clues. I think I missed something. There was a letter floating around. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Uh, analyze. The sword was already in Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. doesn't get us anywhere. He was wearing gloves, though. Impounded in a police case five years ago. The gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Wait, what? What's that question mark? 
Looks like the killer is a cop. <gasps> Carter Blake! That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Yes! No, 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 we're. We're done. We're done. We're done. Well, I don't know. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> You okay? I... I can't go on. Wait, wait, wait! I can't go on. No! Oh my god, are you... Oh, hold on, hold on. Are you... Are you... Are, is he saying that he gives up on the case? Is he saying that he gives up on the case? Because that's not what I want you to do. Oh my god. Oh my god, this game takes me there. No! Mm -mm -mm -mm. I, I from what I'm understanding, I think he can't be in that AI digital world type of thing because then it's gonna mess him up. I gave up on figuring out. No, 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 no. We've got a few more hours left to save. Uh, how do I skip this? Oh, I can't skip it. Sean Mars, there has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. Goddamn close somewhere. Place. You see, I know. Die, I. And I'm going around in circles. I like his voice, by the way. His accent. Um. Uh, I knew there was something up with that Blake dude. All packed up and ready to go. What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was going to miss you. I don't know how a guy like this would be working. Over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Hey. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit. I don't care how you that. take it. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Yeah, I knew he was sus from the very beginning. The way he just, like, pinpoint, like, tries so hard to accuse somebody. Oh my god, the way he moves his head. Poor guy, man. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. It would crack me up so bad. Oh, sure. One last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Of course I support Very LGBT. Dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. Oh, like that little that girl. That would be most Look, unfortunate, sir. It's a... As a bequa, that's a bequa or something like that. <laughs> All right, uh, no. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Alright, well, since we already saw this part, I'm gonna, I already ran out of time for this episode. Uh, for those of you guys who are watching me live on my Twitch, stay tuned, guys. We'll do one more hour of this gameplay for tonight, and then afterwards... Uh, We'll end it. And for my viewers on YouTube, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, we'll see how it goes. I drank the poison. I'm going to see what else I can do. And I'm going to, like, <laughs> I need to stop going back and forth, like,
going back and redoing my decisions. I should just stick to them. Anyways, because I'm thinking you're already like close to the end, Davis. I think you'll be able to redo this chapter again because uh, it's like close to the end. So if anything, we could just redo it. And I think, yeah, I think we'll kind of make it easier too. Because I think you could choose chapters if I'm not mistaken. So uh, if anything, if we get a bad ending or whatever ending we get, I have to accept it. This is how it is. Um, and yeah, it'll be interesting anyways to see like, what if, you know, uh, if I get the certain ending. So we'll just see it through from here on out. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. And if you're interested in checking out my Twitch channel, the link will be in the description below this video. Just click on the link and it'll take you straight here. Have a good day or a good night. Laters.